I picked up this level off of uh, Amazon a couple days ago, and I'm gonna see how it works for um, setting the camber on the bus. I like it in the fact that it sees level as zero, so this background is just at level. Uh, when you turn it and utilize the magnet on this side, it instead shows you the degree. So this is 92.6, and to get it exactly accurate, you want a 90 degree angle to the level. So when I put it on the spindle or on the wheel, I'll be looking at it as an angle and uh, degrees off of what would be level. We'll see how it works. When you turn it completely upside down like this and attach it maybe underneath the car, uh, it's going to show that you're 180 degrees out of level or upside down. And that's what we'll be using to set the level of the car first. Let's give it a shot. I've already attached the digital level. Um, it's magnetized and I've got it essentially upside down on the beam. And right now it's reading 179.3. So that is 179 degrees away from level, or uh, 0.7 degrees away from level. It just means that the level is currently upside down. Uh, the magnet is on this top edge. So when you stick it up like this, it rotates the display to show 179. So what we want to do is jack up the car just a little bit more to get that back to 180. Okay, that's 180. The beam is now exactly level with earth. Now I'll take the same level and attach it to the, uh, the hub out here. And you'll see it showing 90.1. That's 90 degrees, 90.1 degrees away from level ground. So if we go around here to the other side, and the ball joint right here has got a uh, an offset uh, kind of nut attached to it. It's pressed on when we put the ball joints down in the spindle. And this being offset, you can rotate it and it will adjust the angle of the hub, therefore the wheel. So right now, I'm going to move this around. Okay, right now we've got 90.3. So if I go back to the ball joint and put in this Allen wrench and then rotate the ball joint, the center of the ball joint, it's going to rotate that offset nut and allow the adjustment. So let me turn this just slightly.
and it went just a little bit, a little bit past 90, and it's now at 89.9. I'm actually gonna try to lock this in a little bit closer and get it right at 90 degrees. There it is. So I feel pretty confident this hub is exactly straight up and down right now. 